big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, want you to come and play. Meeting all the friends we cook for, sharing stories, trips and fun. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone. <laughs> to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Oh. Well, the noisiest cafe today. <laughs> Ben's putting up some shelves. Ow! Oh! Oh! Ow! Ow! Is that some sort of new dance, Ben? Oh, oh no, Small. Oh, I've just dropped a piece of wood on my foot. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm just putting up some new shelves for the kitchen. We need some more space to store all our ingredients. How are you getting along, Ben? Oh, well, I've nearly finished, Small. I've got lots of tools. Come and have a look. I've got a hammer for hammering. Hammer, hammer, hammer. <laughs> a screwdriver for screwing in screws. Squeak! Squeak! A tape measure for measuring. Measure, measure, measure. <laughs> some pliers, some nails for hammering in, and some screws for the screwdriver. What next, Ben? Hmm, some more hammering, I think. Oh! <laughs> I think these shelves are going to take a long time to make. No time for shelf building now, Ben. We've got a customer. Oh, those shelves were so nearly finished as well. <laughs> Come on then, Small. Go and see who it is. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's the customer today, Small? Oh! You'll never guess who's coming to the cafe today, Ben! Give us some clues. OK, well, it's someone who gives you a hand. Give me a hand? Hmm. Can you guess? And he's got some tools, too. Hammers and nails and screwdrivers. <laughs> Aha! Is it someone who makes shelves like me? I hope not. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> But I think I've guessed who it is. Have you? Is it a carpenter? Yes, it's Callum the carpenter. Now, what would a carpenter like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. One day I popped into the activity club. I wanted to see how my friends Joe and Charlie were getting on. Joe was going to try cooking and Charlie was going to try making. I couldn't wait to see what they'd been up to. Charlie showed me the pencil holder he'd made. I put a pencil in it, but it fell straight out of the bottom. Whoops! <laughs> Joe had baked a cake, but it had sunk a bit and the cream filling had spodged everywhere. <laughs> Charlie showed me the toy car he'd been making. The wheels were a bit wobbly. I gave it a push and the doors fell off. Sorry, Charlie. Joe had made milkshakes. They were a bit lumpy and she'd used tomato ketchup instead of strawberry. Oh, no! <laughs> Joe was getting a bit fed up cooking and Charlie was getting a bit fed up making. Hey, I've got an idea, I said. Why don't you swap? Joe can try making and Charlie can try cooking. It wasn't long before Joe had made a perfect set of tiny drawers. Brilliant! And Charlie had baked a delicious tray of cakes. Perfect! Now, Joe and Charlie were having a great time at the activity club. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Great story, Little Cook. And look, I've finished the shelves. Hoo -hoo. What do you think? Way! <laughs> they look huh? brilliant. <laughs> no time to look at shelves now, Ben. We've got a hungry carpenter to cook for. You're right, Little Cook. And what can we make for somebody so hungry? 
I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Here we are, the perfect thing! A veggie tool belt! Brilliant! And it looks yummy! Come on then, little cook! You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them! OK, let's see. We're going to need sweet potato... Sweet potato, over we go! Yep, got one of those small! Carrots. Carrots? Well, we've always got carrots. Except when we run out, of course. <laughs> <laughs> big mushrooms. Big mushrooms in the fridge. Big cook's got big mushrooms, yep. Asparagus. Asparagus, here we are. Got the asparagus, yep. Cobs of baby corn. Baby corn in the fridge. Got it small. Monge too. Monge too as well, yep. Natural yoghurt. Yoghurt, here we are, nice and cool. Got it. Parsley. Parsley. There we go, yep! And olive oil! Olive oil in the cupboard. Over we go. Got the olive oil. Brilliant! Here we are. Everything we need for the recipe. There's a lot of vegetables in today's recipe, isn't there, Small? And some with really interesting names. I wonder where they all come from. I tell you what, why don't you whiz off and find out, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea! See you later! <laughs> Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo choo! Whoa! I've come to a busy market. Charlie and her mum are going to buy some vegetables. That man runs the market stall. He sells lots of different fruit and vegetables. There's some asparagus. And some monge too. Oh, they're sweet potatoes. And look, mushrooms. They're all the ingredients we need for the carpenter's belt. Charlie's mum tells the man what she would like to buy. And he weighs it and puts it in a bag for her. There's some baby sweet corn cobs. They'd like a packet of those too. Charlie is being very helpful. That's right, give him the mushrooms. That's everything they need. Now they can go home and cook. Bye. I'd better get back to the cafe. Oh, brilliant carpentry, even if I do say so myself. Way! I'm back! Wow! Your shelves are still standing, Ben. <laughs> of course, but my shelves will last forever small. Did you see any exciting vegetables? Oh, yes. I went to an amazing market where there were lots of different fruits and vegetables and colours too. <laughs> well, come on, let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. 
Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to a veggie tool belt? You do? There was sweet potato. One medium sized and chopped into cubes. Carrots. One small one cut in half. A big mushroom. Cut into three slices. Sometimes they're called field mushrooms. Asparagus. Four. Cobs of baby corn. Ha oh, ha three cobs of baby corn. Monge two. Four. Natural yoghurt. One tablespoon. Olive oil. One tablespoon. And parsley. Two tablespoons chopped. Whoopee! Let's get started! I'll start by cooking all these exciting vegetables. The first thing you need to do is bring some water to boil in a pan. And you'll need to get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you because remember, the water in the pan will be hot, hot, hot. I'm going to pop on the steamer and pour in the sweet potato. In it goes, then put on the lid and let it cook until it's nice and soft. Now, if you don't have a steamer, you could always use a metal sieve over a pan. Hey! <laughs> Look at all the mess! I don't believe it! Big Cook Ben may have made some shelves, but he's made a big mess too! Oh, I know! I'll just stack everything together out of the way. <laughs> hey, it'll be like building a tower. Once the sweet potato is cooked, ask your grown-up helper to put it into a bowl, like I've done here. Then it's time to steam the rest of the vegetables, all apart from the mushrooms. So, in they go. Pop the lid on. And they'll only take about three to four minutes. <laughs> Do you like my tower? It's getting taller. <laughs> I've cut three slices of a thick mushroom. This one with the stalk attached is going to be the hammerhead and these two are going to be the plier's pincers. Way! Hey! I don't think my tower can get any taller. I'm really pleased with it. What do you think? Little Cook's big tower! <laughs> I've taken the vegetables out of the steamer and popped them into another pan with a little oil. So now I can add the mushrooms. There we go. And toss them around until they're coated. Round and round. Here we are. And soon you'll notice they go a nice bright colour. My tower! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! What are you up to, Little Cook? Little Cook's tower isn't big anymore. I think it would have been stronger if I'd used a hammer and nails. Now I've got more mess to clean up. <laughs> Be careful, Little Cook. <laughs> now, it's time to use a masher to mash up the sweet potato. Here we are. Mashing it all up. Oh, this is great. And now I can add the yogurt. In it goes. Scoop it all in. And then the parsley. And then now we can give it a good old mash. Ho ho! Wee! Ho ho! Mash, 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 mash. Woohoo! I love mashing. This mashing is really fun. Be careful, Ben! <laughs> Don't worry, Ben. I'll just go and get myself cleaned up. <laughs> OK, Small. Now, I've arranged the mash in a long strip on a plate, like this. And this is our tool belt. So now I can start to arrange our tools. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the buckle for the belt. 
and I'm going to use the Monge 2. Now, Monge 2 is French for eat all, the pod and the peas inside. I'm putting them into a square in the middle and I'm going to use the baby corn cob as the clasp. I'm back! <laughs> that looks brilliant, Big Cook! Now, I can add a piece of carrot on one side. I'm going to use the mushroom as the hammerhead. There we are. Hammer, hammer, hammer! On the opposite side of the hammer, I've used the carrot and asparagus to make a screwdriver. And I've also used the baby corn cobs and the mushroom to make the pliers. And then you can use all the leftover vegetables to make screws. And there we have it, a veggie tool belt with some delicious vegetable tools. Oh, 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 oh. What's that? I think it was your shelves again, Ben. Oh, no, I thought those shelves would last forever. Oh. Now we've got more mess to clean up, Ben. Well, we'll have to clean it up once we've given Callum his tool belt. So, one veggie tool belt coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bob The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes. It looks like Callum the carpenter enjoyed his veggie tool belt and looks small. He's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Oh, well, let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my veggie tool belt. It was delicious and looked just like a real carpenter's tool belt. Woohoo! <laughs> to say thank you, I fixed your shelf and left you a present from Callum the carpenter. Fixed your shelf? Yes, Ben, look! Ho oh, ho, brilliant, look! A proper set of shelves! Ho oh, ho, he must have done this while we were tidying up, little cook. I think that shelf will last forever, Ben. Oh, and what's this? Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, look at this small. Let's see. It says, a toolbox for your tools to keep them tidy and handy. Brilliant! Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, look at this! This is great! Oh, come on, Small! What can we make now? Oh, no! Here we go again! <laughs> See you soon, everyone! See you soon! Big Cook, Little Cook Welcome to our cafe Big Cook, Little Cook We'll cook for everyone! We'll cook for everyone! 